Sport plays a significant role in our communities, clearly, uh, and it's about the health and well-being of our community. And if, if you have a health and, and fit community, you have also a community that's happy. And that's what it's all about. It's making sure that you know we're physically fit and healthy, and we're mentally fit and healthy. And our partnership with uh, with Cricket Victoria and Cricket Australia, indeed, is very strong. There are over 327 thousand people that play cricket in Victoria. That's a large population base. But it's also important to get through from the grassroots end to the elite end. So I combined $12.4 million to spend on grassroots community clubs like this and that's why I'm here. It is great to be here in Frankston as we announced the first funding recipients from the cricket facility component of the community cricket program. Those investments will upgrade and install new cricket nets, which is vital to supporting the increasing participation in cricket. Victoria's leading the way and we're showing the states the other way and becoming a best practice model and that's something we strive to do. We very much aspire to be Australia's leading cricket state and occasions like this and initiatives like this I think very much build our case. As we heard the Minister say today, it really is about binding our communities together. The way I look at it is, you know, investing in sport is investing in communities. So once you upgrade facilities, you're encouraging people to participate. The one thing too I really want to highlight, and that is girls' and women's participation in sport. So I'm thrilled that, you know, this funding and a big focus of the funding is about encouraging girls and young women into sport as well and I know Seaford Cricket Club is really supportive of that as well so I couldn't be prouder for them today so it's a tremendous announcement. You know from the time when uh, kids are quite young and they've got that imagination at one time or, or some time in their life they could be a cricketer, they could be a champion netballer um, and it's, it's funding like this that actually makes dreams like that become a reality. Today's announcement just enhances that. It, it, it one I guess gives us a pat on the back for the work that we've done in the past but it also recognises what the region and what Frankston can offer by developing regional practice facilities and the enhancement of, of uh, the amenities that we've already got. So to clubs at our level, even at junior clubs um, in the local competitions, because what it does is just gives everyone a real boost and encouragement and you know that your parent body, Cricket Australia, Cricket Victoria, are reinvesting in the sport and, and that is just so important. The great news in redeveloping the, the only turf nets in the region and it's a real it's a real central base for the whole region to, for all the elite and up and coming cricketers to come and use, female and male. A little bit of work gone on with the curator and, and Dennis, uh, the president as well, um, in regards to getting more use out of the nets. With spinning the nets around and making them dual end and making using them from both ends will give us a lot more use and therefore a lot more use for the community and also um, developing younger players for the region to come through and eventually play for Frankston and then hopefully go and play for Australia.